This week, kindergartners, first and second graders returning to in-person learning in Fayette County. And there's a plan in place now for other grades. But there is a small percentage of kids in special programs that don't have a start date yet. LAX 18's Eleanor Buckley explains why. Many parents across Fayette County, Shannon Heldon was relieved when Fayette County Public Schools announced they were working on a plan to get all students back in the classroom who want to attend in person. I was really happy um, to hear that we finally had confirmed dates for all, almost all the students, 95% of the students, and that they're very soon, you know, with the, the latest date, March 15th, but it was like a gut punch to hear that the special programs were not included in this um, return to school date and they are still up in the air. Her son Eric attends STEAM, one of the district's special programs. Other students in special programs at the technical centers will be able to attend whichever school is their home school, but STEAM students don't have one, meaning he will still be virtual, which his mother says has been very challenging with his ADHD. She wants people to understand there is still a small percentage of students who are struggling with not having a start date. Because a lot of people are thinking, okay, everybody's going back to school, but that's really not true. And a lot of people don't understand that there's that 5% in special programs that are still out there hanging. Myron Thompson, the chief operating officer for Fayette County Public Schools, says they're working on getting these kids back to in-person learning. But it's challenging because they're bused from all different parts of the district. Currently, they have a shortage of about 50 bus drivers, which makes figuring out transportation for these students that much more challenging. It takes our routing department a minimum of two weeks to plot all of that out. And due to our shortage, some of those folks whose jobs it is to route may be, may be behind the wheel driving. So it's sort of a compounding issue that if they're having to do that, then they can't build the routes. And so it, it's just uh, it's a very complex problem to address. In Lexington, Eleanor Buckley, LEX 18 News.